Welcome to Talk to Me with the Coach, Michael E. Maiden, as we're at the Pitcher Hit Club Annual Banquet, and we're visiting with the musician for the Chicago White Sox, Nancy Faust. You got that right. How Hi, are you? Just fine. Are you? I'm great. Glad to be here, and good to see you, too, Mike. Well, you have the job of bringing a lot of joy to the hearts of White Sox fans. Tell our audience what that's like. Well, it's a thrill to be that powerful and know that my little music can be heard all over. And I just hope that my music makes a difference in, in the enjoyment level of a game. And how long have you been doing this for the White Sox? Well, actually, my first year at uh, Comiskey Park, now it's called the Cell, of course, U.S. Cellular. Excuse we still me. know it as Comiskey Park. Was, my first year was 1970, mm -hmm. and I had just gotten out of school. I went to North Park College here in the city. I was a psychology major, mm -hmm. and the late Stu Holcomb, who at that time was the general manager at the, at the ballpark, heard me play at a luncheon. And um, I followed up after that luncheon with a letter to Stu, mm -hmm. and he called me right before the season started in 1970 and said, if you're still interested, we have an opening. Well, let's see, that's uh, 37, 38 years now. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. In Ooh. fact, this will be my 39th season, mm -hmm. and little did I ever expect I'd be talking to you here 39 <laughs> years later, but um, it's been a great run. You know, I couldn't have had a better life. Well, you had an opportunity to be a part of that Royal Championship team. How was that experience? I just never realized it would be as big as it was. And I think my most proud day, time was at the rally downtown when fans just came out, Chicagoans came out by the thousands and were just well behaved. And I was just so proud to be part of the organization. I was so proud to be a Chicagoan. It was just glorious. And our audience reach a lot of young youngsters in the Chicago area, so how does it feel to be around all those major league ball players? Well, you know, they're down on the field and I'm up in my perch, but um, it's great to be part of something that everybody enjoys so much. Mm -hmm. You know, my job entails uh, being around people that are in a good mood, unlike a tax collector or something like that. So people are always happy and, uh, you know, in that, under those circumstances, and it's um, a great atmosphere. Well, tell us how you developed that thing for the seven in the stretch. Oh, well, that, you mean, with Harry and me, yeah. I always play Take Me Out to the Ball Game. And then when Harry joined the team, and actually once Bill Veck owned the team, and he used to see Harry up there in his booth just singing and waving his arms, it was Bill Veck's idea to give Harry a microphone. And he said, if you're going to be up there, and people are always looking up there and yelling at you, you may as well take her microphone. You don't have to sing well. You just have to have spirit, which he had plenty of that. And um, I was in visual contact with Harry, so it was just part of his shtick. You know, he'd grab the microphone and he'd look down and he'd say, "Okay, Nancy, are you ready?" And I think he really put my name on the baseball map because it was like, "Who's this Nancy?" He's always talking about. But um, that was c quite a tradition to be part of, and I think a lot of people aren't aware that that did start at Comiskey Park. Yeah. Well, you know, I had an opportunity a few years back to scout for the White Sox, do some scouting for the White Sox under Nathan Dirks, and I didn't get a chance to get a Royal Series ring because I wasn't around. Did you get a Royal Series ring? I most certainly <laughs> did. I got my ring here. It has my name, Faust. It says Oregon on it, and it has a record for playoffs, 11-1, and one, world champions. It says an awful lot on, a, on this ring, and I'm quite proud of it. Well, I I'm also a, have a pennant. I'm a little jealous right now. You know, I had an opportunity to interview Roland Heeman last year on this oh, show. And, and he had his ring. So I'm a little jealous. I feel like the stepchild right now. <laughs> well, what can I say? Um, I hear you. Maybe some of that will rub okay, off on you. <laughs> okay. Well, we thank you very much for your time being on our show today. Talk to me with the coach, Michael E. Maiden, as we visited with Nancy Faust, musician for the Chicago White Sox. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Mike.